Mark Phillips returned from his latest assignment in good spirits. Here's Mark's Tales from the Crypt. You never know what you'll find digging around an old house. Not the old houses of Parliament, but across the river in a thousand-year-old house of worship where important people used to pray. What workers found here lately changed their lives. I suddenly thought I'm Indiana Jones. <laughs> I've hit the jackpot. Different yeah. hat, but... Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Craig Dick had found what centuries of archaeological study had missed. When English passions turned from religion to gardening, what was St. Mary's Church Lambeth was saved from demolition by being turned into a horticultural museum, now under renovation. And when workers lifted a loose slab on the floor, they expected to find nothing. You call it up. now. Oh, there we go. Cross. A modern manhole cover now protects what Craig found, a hole in the floor which led to a crypt full of coffins that nobody knew was there. Your heart stops. You see it. You, you in, a, in a sense, panic. You wonder what it is, who it is. There was a hint who it is. A golden crown, an archbishop's mitre, a sign that among the 30 coffins, a former head of the Church of England was buried here. In fact, at least two were. And one, Richard Bancroft, Archbishop from 1604 to 1610, was among the most influential heads of the Anglican Church there's ever been. He played a crucial role, uh, really, in the history of the Church of England. Eleanor Greer is with the Gardening Museum. Because he was chosen by King James I to oversee the production of the King James Bible. Perhaps the most widely printed book in history. <laughs> it's not going to hurt your appeal. No, and it's, it's, it's timely because we're reopening uh, next month. How handy. <laughs> Timing, even in a thousand years of history, is everything. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.